What is going on guys, Apple folks here, and in today's video, we are continuing my kind of like a series, it's actually part 3 already, where I'm showing you some of the glitches that are still possible, or they are still present in the latest public version of iOS. As of right now, the latest version of iOS, which has been published for everyone, I'm of course not talking about the beta updates. Anyways, right now the latest is the 10.2.1, as you guys can see. Before we get into it, I need to say that these things are probably going to disappear in the next version of iOS, like in iOS 10.3, we might not see any of these, but it's unclear right now. So the first one is a glitch, but at the same time it makes your iPhone respring or restart. I mean, it's not going to shut down your phone, but instead it is just going to give you a black screen for a moment, and after a second everything is working perfectly again. So in case you are worried about your device, there's no reason to. As the first thing you need to do is to lock your device and on the lock screen swipe right to access the camera and swipe up to get to the control center. Here you need to click on the clock app and of course it gets you here where you can set up the timer and stuff. But now hold down the power button in order for the slider to appear just like you would want to turn off your iPhone. And here all you need to do is to click cancel and the iPhone respringes. It happens because your iPhone isn't able to handle the fact that you're trying to shut it down in clock app that you access from the camera on the lock screen. It's not because the iPhone is weak or isn't powerful, it's all in the iOS. So let's do this one more time, camera, clock and the actual slider to power off. After clicking cancel it happens basically. Let's move to another one. Now you don't really need to be on the lock screen to do this, but you can if you want to. So you need to swipe up so the control center pops up and here just try to click at the camera and airdrop at the very same time. If you manage to do it properly then it's going to freeze completely. Clicking the home button or power button, nothing happens at all. If you have an iPhone 7 or 7 Plus, you will feel the haptic feedback when clicking the home button. This means that your phone recognizes the press but is not able to do anything. So you just have to wait for it to get back on a track until everything is okay. And finally, let's get to the last one. This glitch is very interesting because it's not going to shut down your phone or make it unresponsive, which is super annoying, but instead it makes one individual app or icon on your home screen non-clickable, which is also annoying, but everything else works. It is very strange that we can still see these kind of glitches in such an operating system like iOS 10. So in order to perform it, you need to have at least one folder on a screen. If you don't have one, then just hold on to any app over the another one and it creates a folder for you. Now you need to hold down on any app, it really doesn't matter which one, and that of course makes the icons wiggle. So now click on a folder and immediately click somewhere else to get back. Now as you can see none of the icons are wiggling right now. But if you hold on to an icon now, not all of them start to shake, only the one you touched. It looks really weird that all other apps are still and this one is just doing something weird. By the way, it's not even clickable so it's completely unresponsive and doesn't do anything when you touch it. All other apps are working perfectly and you can do anything you want and it just doesn't stop wiggling. You can snap a photo, lock and unlock your device and nothing is going to change. You can even make wiggle more than just one icon. So you can hold down to any other app and it starts to shake for some reason. I'm not sure if I like it, it's kind of weird to be honest, but it's good to know that something like this is possible and it can easily be performed. So guys, looks like we have reached the end of this video, thank you so much for watching, leave a like if you enjoyed it, and also don't forget to click the subscribe button if you don't want to miss anything. Have a nice day and see you next time.